Amen. Praise the Lord. We're glad to have with us the soul winners from Barberville, Kentucky. That's right. You'd like to have them come and sing at your church? Call them in area code 606-545-0148. They'll be back in a few minutes to sing some more for us. Just hold on. And we'll, well, we share the word of God with you for just a few minutes. But you see, uh, we got a couple of requests is called in this, this evening. Beulah Gray needs her prayer. Remember her in prayer. Zoe is a having hip problems. Needs Bless prayer. Let's remember these prayer requests. Pray for all the sick and shut in, those in the hospitals, nursing homes, yeah. upon the bed of affliction, ain't able to get out of the house. God knows where they're at and who they are. And he's able to lift them up, if anybody can lift them up. So let's remember all of them that are sick. Let's pray for all the churches that don't have a pastor. Pray for the pastors that are pastoring churches. Let's pray for, pray for all God's people that they'll continue to work for the Lord. At this time, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer before we get into the Word of God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this Another privilege, another opportunity that you blessed us to come this way tonight. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for your word tonight. and Thank you for your blessings that you bestowed upon us down through this day. God, we just pray tonight, Lord, that your word will find a lodging place in the hearts and minds of individuals out there tonight, especially those that don't know you in a free pardon of sin. God, we just pray that it'll sink deep in their hearts, that they might see their condition. Fall out with sin and turn to thee before it's everlasting too late. God, we pray, Lord, tonight for the those sick in body tonight, yeah. Lord, and these requests as has been called in. God, we just pray that you just reach out, Lord, with your mighty hand. Lay your healing hand upon them, Lord. Touch their bodies. Heal them of their sickness. Lord, to meet their need tonight, Lord, we know and realize that you're able to meet every need. And God, we give you all the praise and give you all the glory and honor. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'd like to turn your attention to Psalms 119. Psalms 119. And uh, so uh, tonight we want you to listen to the Word of God. What we want to talk about is the importance of the Word of God. Amen. A lot of people don't realize how important God's Word is. That's right. I mean, they take, it, they take it for granted. They take it lightly. But it's the most important thing that we've got here in this world. Amen. Is God's word. Bless and uh, so the Bible said there in Psalms 119, that's in what it says, 119 and 9, he said, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways? How's he going to get his life right? How's he going to cleanse his ways? You know, young people, the Bible says, foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Yeah. But the rod of correction will drive him far from it. You know, he's talking about the Word of God. God's Word will correct us in the lifestyle and the way that we're living. Uh, we need God's Word to correct us. Amen. And I'm glad that I had a, a, a daddy and a mother that taught me the Word of God when I was a child because I, I had a lot of foolishness in me. And it was, <laughs> I tell you what, it was that old foolish nature that I had. And it ain't nothing that we can, we can do about that old nature. It's... Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, foolishness is in uh, uh, people that are uh, man's uh, nature. Is uh, I'm going to show you some, and something here in a, just a little while about man's nature, what all it involves. I want to read it to you. And I want you to hear it. Matter of fact, I ought to go to it right now. It's found in Romans, uh, the book of Romans here, about man's nature. Chapter 1. Verse 18, here's what God said, says about man's nature. Well, here, is a, here is a way a person can get, and in the shape that a person can get, Brother Lonnie, without God in his life. Well, right here it is. And God is angry at sin. The Bible said God is angry with the wicked every day. Amen. Why is it that God's angry with the wicked? Yeah. Because he will not hear the word of God. He will not accept the word of God. He will not apply the word of God to his life and he keeps a living his life by his own uh, understanding, by his own nature, by, uh, by the foolish teachings of the world. 
Now, uh, uh, God's Word teaches us the truth. Amen. And, and uh, we need to know the truth tonight. That's right. So the Bible says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. You know why people do ungodly things? They don't know the Word of God, Brother Lonnie. They don't know the judgment of God. They don't know what God is, uh, what God is capable of doing. You know that? The Bible said God has got all power over heaven and earth. God is able to give you life, but he's also able to take your life. <laughs> you see, people don't realize God's power. Now, God can cut you off. You can get, you can get so wicked and God uh, uh, can cut you off. Now, he cut Pharaoh off, didn't he not? Pharaoh got evil, and he wanted to punish the children of Israel. Matter of fact, he had them in bondage. And God sent Moses down there to deliver them out of bondage. And Pharaoh, uh, after God delivered them from Pharaoh, Pharaoh chased after them and his army. 